Hello, and welcome to something slightly different. Today, I will be implementing microphone input into my indie horror game, Russell's Range. I have no idea how I'm going to do this, but we are going to learn together, and hopefully by the end of this, we'll have some interesting things to play around with. Okay, so after about three minutes of research, I think I'm ready to implement it into my game. So let's have a look. So we are going to go into the content browser and place it, I don't know, somewhere. Maybe I will make a subfolder and then put it in there. So new folder, audio input. Ignore that E. Okay, so we have to make a new blueprint. Audio capture. There we go. So we'll put it kind of there. We need to add an audio capture. Oh, okay, cool. We need to set this to auto activate. Lovely. So I believe this will print out a value of the input of my microphone. So let us have a look. Ah, uh, that works. I can hear myself. Interesting. Oh, that's so fun. Look, it what? Ah, oh, that is so cool. I really like that. I just want to try cast to first person character, and then we will promote this to a variable. Two hours later. Okay, so I have completely lost my train of thought, but that is fine. So we've got that. I want to quickly log. Hello there. This to base 10, and then map Z inputs, outputs. And then we want, how much was it? Uh. Nothing, because it doesn't do anything. <laughs> So about four, two, ah, oh, what, minus one. Oh. 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 Hello. Hello. Amazing, okay, cool. So we have this as our output, which then we will grab to HUD and do a make noise. Show sure make sound. There we go. Okay. Close enough. But I want it only if this value here is greater than zero. Oh. Oh. <laughs> oh. 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 <laughs> That's so cool. Okay. And then we can test it to Chatterbox. So we are going to have to be really quiet while walking up on him. I'm not making an, a, a sound event, am I? I'm just showing it on screen. Hello. 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 Okay, he's not working. Report noise event. It's a little sensitive, <laughs> but it works. Um, now, how can we make it less sensitive? If it is actually, if it is greater than maybe 0 0.5, 0 0.5, then we can see. Where is he? I think I've got my headphones on backwards. Hello? That is, okay, that is, Amazing. That is so much fun. Uh, so I'll probably just implement this as a feature you can toggle in the settings uh, if you want to make your life way harder. I could do a lot of things with this. Okay, wait, hold on. Okay, good. Now I have that light. And maybe map these values from zero to a thousand. <laughs> wow, okay, this is so much fun. This is really cool. Oh, I've not got the key, but like, I can just light up by speaking. I love that. Okay. I don't know if this works when I package the game. I hope you all enjoyed this, uh, 
Interesting video, I learnt a lot. This is super easy and super fun. Thank you all for watching. This is a very different video to what I have uh, on the rest of my channel, but let me know if you like this kind of content and if you have any suggestions of just random small things that I can implement to play around with. I might not have it in the final version, but it's just so much fun to just play with these different techniques. Please like and subscribe for more content like this and that you are excited for the release of Russell's Range. Bye-bye.